Linux has always been a go-to choice for many programmers and developers. Its customizability, open source nature and stability are just a few of the many reasons. It also supports a wide collection of programming languages including C, C++, Perl, Ruby, PHP and more. This guide will focus on some of the best Linux distros for developers and programmers and highlight the key features that make them ideal for programming development purposes. Manjaro Manjaro is one of the most developer programmer centric Linux distros. It's used by the majority of developers for web and app development as their daily driver due to its simplistic nature. Manjaro has tons of features that make it very friendly to programmers and developers. Some of its most outstanding ones include it's one of the best and easiest to use Arch Linux based distros. Other Arch Linux distros are known to be complicated to install and customize. You know they are. Whereas Manjaro has one of the friendliest installation processes and GUI, making customizing it a breeze. Because it's Arch Linux based, Manjaro is also very customizable, making it very friendly to programmers and developers who want to create a customized development environment. Manjaro has a well thought out package manager, making it easy to install all the development tools you may need to get up and running and in no time. It comes in a variety of editions or flavours, including XFCE, GNOME, KDE, Minimal Net Edition, a Web Dev Edition, Manjaro Spin solely dedicated to programmers and developers, and a host of other community editions. Thanks to the Arch User Repository, or AUR, Manjaro also offers a host of programming tools and software, stellar hardware support, a robust community of dedicated contributors, and of course, rolling updates. Ubuntu Desktop Ubuntu is one of the most versatile Linux distros, which explains why it's one of the most used by Linux enthusiasts, including beginners and professionals alike. Ubuntu has a host of standing ovation worthy features. The key features that make it one of the best Linux distros for developers and programmers are the Ubuntu community is one of the most outstanding features because it translates into unequaled support. Think tutorials, scripts, FAQs, etc. The community consistently contributes to the Ubuntu repository, making it easier to find programming resources, software and libraries for your workflow. Moreover, thanks to the community driven PPAs, you can extend your software experience. Thanks to its competitive library, back and front end developers and programmers go gaga for Ubuntu because of its unrivaled support for emerging technologies, including machine, deep learning and artificial intelligence. A consistent experience is one of the other core features that make Ubuntu one of the best programming distros. The consistent OS experience means that whether you're working on OT devices, the cloud server or desktop, you will have the same UI experience and access to software packages. Ubuntu also has one of the friendliest and most comprehensive package handlers, APT. Ubuntu has unparalleled hardware and software support and is one of the most stable development environments thanks to the involved testing done by the very dedicated team of developers at Canonical. Fedora Fedora is another development programming centred Linux distro. It even says on its website it creates an innovative, free and open source platform for hardware, clouds and containers that enables software developers. It's right there on the screen. Some of the key features that make it very development or programming friendly are Fedora's Anaconda installer is very feature worthy. This installer makes customizing the Fedora installation process very intuitive, especially because you can pre-install and conversely uninstall various software and options before a first boot. This feature gives developers a lot of customizability, making it possible to create an a la carte programming environment. The Fedora portal is another feature that helps this Red Hat sponsored distro win the hearts of many developers. The portal is home to tons of helpful information, including how to get started with development tools like Docker, Vagrant and Eclipse, start projects like web and command line applications, and uses the Fedora supported programming languages and databases. Thanks to its community driven nature, this cutting edge OS supports programming languages like .NET, Node.js, PHP, Perl, Python, Ruby, etc. And databases like MariaDB, PostgreSQL, MongoDB and many, many others. Lastly, while it's not a rolling release, you can expect a new version of Fedora every six months, each with 13 months of support. Because upgrading Fedora is super simple, developers can easily update to access the latest tools and repositories. Arch Linux Although Arch Linux does not have the easiest installation process, I can promise you that it's a developer's dream. That is because just about every interaction with it, installing packages, software, repositories, etc., is a chance to work in the terminal. And as we know, developers and programmers love working in the terminal because it's the surest way to be productive. Besides, Arch Linux is one of the friendliest Linux distros for development and programming. 
Here are the reasons it's one of the best. Developers and programmers love customising their working environments, something Arch Linux leans into hard. This distro has a very DIY approach that allows you to customise which components, tools, software, services and whatever else you want to install or not, including your preferred desktop environment. This customizability is one of the things developers love about this distro because it makes it easier to build as nimble a development workflow as you want from the ground up. Since it's a DIY centered distro, Arch Linux does not have any bloatware or unwanted software, which is one of the core reasons why diehard Linux developers prefer it over other Linux distros. Arch Linux is a rolling release distro, which developers love because it means keeping the system up to date is easy with just a few commands, thanks to the Pac-Man manager. Debian. If Linux were a tree, Debian would be a ring on the outer edge of the tree since it's one of the oldest Linux distros around. Besides being one of the oldest Linux distros, Debian also has the development programming friendly features as follows. Debian has unparalleled stability, thanks partly to its age. Additionally, the Debian free software guidelines are very particular about which programs, tools and packages make it to the stable version. This strictness means that unstable packages rarely make their way onto Debian, which annihilates system instability, making Debian one of the most stable programming distros. Every programmer or developer knows that very few things are worse than a system crash mid-work. Debian also has two other key things going for it. First, it has one of the most comprehensive lists of development tools like editors, Vim, Emacs, Nano, IDEs, Eclipse, NetBeans, CodeLite, etc. Secondly, the Debian community is one of the most gung-ho you will find anywhere. The Debian wiki and website is buzzing with manuals and tutorials for just about any programming question or issue you may have. Moreover, Debian has an easy-to-use bug tracking system that makes it easy to report issues and get help from other developers and the community. Frequently asked questions. Which distro should I install? Despite the list we've just made, you may still find it challenging to navigate the sea of Linux distros and find the right one for developers. To avoid problems with your base system when developing, choose a distribution with high stability, customization and popularity. This will help you customize and get support if needed. Popular choices in this category, Manjaro and Ubuntu. How secure are Linux systems? Most Linux distributions rely heavily on the base Linux kernel, making them very secure, if not the most secure. This, however, does not mean there are no vulnerabilities for Linux systems, but compared to other systems, such as Windows, you'll never have to worry about antivirus. Which development software should I get? Linux contains tens, if not hundreds of thousands of software packages. It comes with all the major tools that you as a developer will need, including support for all major programming languages and IDEs. The good thing is that most Linux distros have a software repository that contains everything you need and don't need sometimes. You can easily install what you do need with a few clicks. What do you need the distro for? The most important factor when choosing a Linux distro is what you need it for. Fun, work, occasional browsing, enhanced security, multimedia or development. There are distros for each of these purposes and many more. If you want to check which distros are available for a particular purpose, like for example development, the place to do so is of course on DistroWatch, available on distrowatch.com. Navigate to the distribution category, search filter. There are quite a few good options available to you. So if you have very specific use, that's a great place to look. What kind of software will you be using? If you have a specific piece of software that you'll be using that you need a particular version of, then that of course will influence your distro choice. If you're a standard desktop user, you'll probably want regular updates to get new versions of things like Firefox or Chrome. If you're a gamer, you'll probably want the latest and greatest kernel to get the access to better hardware compatibility. If you're just using basic software like OpenSSH or NGINX for a server, you'll probably not mind having older versions of that software, as long as it doesn't get too many updates and move slowly. What kind of hardware will you be using? If your computer is more powerful and has newer hardware, then you can run almost any distro you like. However, if it is old, this could limit your choices. Depending on its age and specs, your choice may boil down to just a dozen distros made especially for old computers. Typically, these distros for old computers are lightweight and don't offer everything you can think of, but are still a decent choice for most everyday tasks and even beyond. Link in the description. How much experience with computers do you have? Well, this may seem obvious if you're a developer, of course, but it's very important. If you have tons of experience with computers from a technician perspective, you'd be a better fit, obviously, for a different distro than someone who has a very surface level experience with computers. Additionally, if you have a lot of experience with one particular platform or another, you may want to look at a distro that mimics that workflow. A great example is that as a former Mac OS user, elementary OS looks and feels very comfortable and familiar for me personally. 
what kind of community are you looking for? There are a few constants across different communities, but each community has something different. For example, if you're looking for a bootstraps, rugged, do-it-yourself kind of community, you might look at Arch Linux. If you're looking for a fierce pragmatism, I'd suggest Ubuntu. If you're looking for a small but mighty free software community, you might look at Fedora. It's fairly simple to find out what kind of community a distro has surrounding it by going to its respective subreddit and reading through posts and comments. Every community is helpful, but they're all helpful in their own particular ways. So there you have it. The best Linux distro for programming is the one that meets your needs. That is the main criteria that you should have in mind when deciding which Linux distro to use. Okay, as always, Thank you so much for watching. We very much appreciate your support. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.